Oh, I just introduced the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Just be like, you know, welcome to No Socks, you know. This is what... No, I'm not... <laughs> I, I, I'm not introducing this. Stop, stop there, and I want more bloody stuff. Welcome to No Socks, we're here with Luke Bosnick and uh, his two biggest fans. Hi, my name's Patrick. Pat. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Caitlin, or Katie. It's going to be very awkward to start with, but that's all good. <laughs> when, we, when we get into like talking, it'll be fine, I think. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, is, uh, is that how we're starting this? Yeah, or? let's just do it. Why not? Yeah, okay. Oh, just go for it. It's too late now. You only get one I, shot. I'm, I'm a naturally awkward person, so it's like... You know, this is, it's part of my aesthetic. Yeah. So it, it took you about like an hour and 20 to get here. Yeah. What, what was that like drive like? <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, it, it's because I like to drive because um, I usually like, I just have Spotify that's cranked up the whole mm-hmm. time. Um, so it's like, it's, it's just where I get kind of get my inspiration for like new stuff anyway. Just from, because I'll just go like the recommended on Spotify. Like, I won't just listen to the same old things over and over again. Fair enough. So, yeah. lots of new stuff coming through the old brain. Yeah, exactly. So, it's just, like, new ideas um, about, like, it's like, oh, I like, okay, I like that guitar part. How can I steal it? <laughs> <laughs> so, you're a thief is yeah, what you're I, telling I'm a, us. I've plagiarized. There aren't any original ideas, so... <laughs> <laughs> the acceptance. Okay. He just knows. Well, I guess, I guess then, um, anything stick, stick out... Um, in that recommended playlist today? Um, I don't really recognize, like, because obviously I'm driving, so I don't have my phone with me. Yeah. So I like... As you should. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. As I should. It's nice to know that you Don't look at your phone world. and drive. Mm. But um, <laughs> there was this one song, I think it was... I recognize the artist as, like, the Protoman, I think it's called. Protoman. Okay. Yeah, and it's like... <laughs> he knows. He knows. He knows. You know that? Uh, okay, right. But it was like this guitar part. I was like, it's just like really like, it just runs on, but it's just it just got stuck in my head. I was like, I'm gonna steal that later. I reckon. <laughs> I'm gonna just take that. Out. Yeah, it's like. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. Cool. So yeah, that, I think that's what stuck out, because like yeah. the new, new stuff I've been writing is like more electric based. Mm. Um, as opposed to the stuff that I usually write, which is just more acoustic. So, so electric as in, we're, we're, talk, we're not talking about like, uh, electronic music, but just... No, electric. no, no, I'm more like using like electronic instruments, so like the electric guitar, oh, like okay. I use my electronic right. drum kit a lot more and... Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's just more different because usually I just use my acoustic guitar and focus more on just the guitar, lyrics, and then there's like harmony... Mm. as well and mm. that would be like the center focus but the new stuff i've been writing it's not it's not that mm. yeah more more instrumental specific um there's more focus on instrumentation mm. than there is like vocals like and lyrics but it's mm. still i wouldn't say it detracts from it or anything like that mm. <laughs> how would you say since when you okay so when you recorded your first ep to whatever's happening hifty hop happening in the future how do, how would you say that your your skills have improved like how how do you go about recording something how do i <laughs> okay that that's a that's a loaded question yes yeah, so um that. i'll start with the i'll start with the how do i go about recording um because that seems like a lot of an easier question to answer <laughs> <laughs> um so with recording how i'd usually go about it is i would it always starts with an idea because I usually write as I record, mm. yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Mm. Th- which is why sometimes like my music can seem very segmented. So it's mm. like, ah, oh, that's clearly section A, that's clearly section B. Um, right. It's because like I've wrote section A all at once and then I wrote section B and recorded it as I was writing ah, it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Which isn't okay. a f- like, I, f- I could feel like anyone who watches this who like does like recording and editing just yelling at them, <laughs> just <laughs> yelling at them screens because it's like, that's not really, a, it's probably not a proper way to do it. But to me, because like, I have like a million, like my mind is races like a million different places at once. So mm. if I can just kind of, it helps me keep track of like what's happening. Mm. So if I be like, I recorded that uh, drum part, then I can just say, say, okay, that's done. Moving on. Yeah. As opposed to saying, like, all right, I'm just going to write the drum part for the whole day, but, like, I won't get it done because it's, like, 
if mm. my mind just like goes off to a million different places. And there's yeah. just so much to do. Like, <laughs> yeah. Cause it's like, if you wrote like a whole day's worth of drum parts, it's just like, it's just, it's just, a, it's, it's a just very taxing. Big, yeah. yeah. Mm. Right. And you'd end up doing that over several days. Whereas like, yeah. I guess with your approach, right. It'd be like, since you're doing it by segments anyway, it feels like you have a clear goal to work. Yeah. With it, usually I can. Oh, each time session. You, it always starts an idea. Like I might not finish like lyrics or something like that day, but like, Usually I can get like a vast majority of it out in a day. Mm. Yeah. I guess. And then you can go back later and go. Yeah. <laughs> like I've done it with quite a few tracks uh, on the EP coming out. It's like I would just go back and I've probably still got to go back and kind of <laughs> refine some tracks. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, to like, you know, make them sound more solid and less like they were done in a day. <laughs> yeah. Um. I guess I guess the other part was I guess oh, yeah, uh, the like, process, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like how since like all, all the doodly doos happening. Yeah, doodly uh, doos. How it's like my skills have changed. Mm. I think I, I'm not used to writing like electric guitar parts. Mm. Um, so I really wanted to kind of just focus and work on that. Um, so with a lot of the newer stuff, you, you don't you don't really notice it with like the one that I released, which is Blur. Um, mm. But with a lot of the newer stuff, it's more just... It's also kind of practice as, as in a way of just writing it as well. Yeah, right. Because, mm. like, I would just write kind of, like, chords and stuff for acoustic guitar and not really mm. write, like, guitar, like, main guitar lines. Mm. Like, I guess, like, riffs. It's yeah. It's like, more like a riff-based approach. Yeah, right? it's more of a riff-based approach, I'd say. Yeah, but even, right. like, the chord progressions and stuff is different as well because it's going to sound different on electric than it would necessarily on yeah, acoustic that's true different timbre did yeah we, did we turn up the game to 11 or something <laughs> <laughs> yeah i cranked it up to 11 and then just rolled with it for the entire time <laughs> <laughs> right yeah yeah that's how i think i've changed and I, I think it's not just you know working and practicing as well it's also like you know the interactions you have with like other musicians mm. like that's why like I, I wrote like some of these songs like at the start of this year and then I met you people <laughs> as well. And it's like, and yep. it's like you, you know, like you all have different approaches to writing. You all write different things. And I'm like, I'm going to steal that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to take that from you people. There's a little bit of people. all of us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like yeah, right. it's, you, it's not just, and I guess it's like also why I've kind of named it like on the shoulders of giants because the whole idea of it is like, you know, you're not just working on your own merit. Yeah. You're working yeah, on the merit right. of others. Like, I didn't uh, just pick up, for example, like I, I started bass when I was like 16, 15. Mm -hmm. I didn't just pick it up and was like, oh, I can play bass oh now. I'm God. I'm God in, uh, musician bass now. God. Yeah. Um, it, it became more like, you know, I had my guitar teacher who helped me a lot. Uh, I had like my friends and stuff who like worked with me along the way. So it's always, it's kind of, it's kind of like an acknowledgement of like the people in my life that have like, Help yeah. me up to that, have that point. Impacted you and got you to where you are now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. Can we expect some like really sick bass lines on this new EP? <laughs> oh God, yes. <laughs> my my brother, he's actually helped me with one of the oh. songs because he's a bassist. Oh yeah. Um, right, yeah. So it's not necessarily just me in it, but it's also like him who gave he's helped me with some ideas and mm. uh, yeah. he did some bass lines because like he. He, it's just, he plays it a lot differently than I do. Like mm. his stuff is more, I'd say more technical, whereas mine's more like kind of like, I'm just looking for what sounds funky and catchy, whereas he's more, is more mm. refined and... We've got, to, we've got to chuck in these modes and... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, whereas, but his technique is also different. Like I love doing slap bass, as people are no doubt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> by yeah. <now>. yeah. <laughs> Annoyingly so, but... No, no. Uh, <laughs> it's always good. But never whereas he's just, he, like, he like... <laughs> <laughs> not that kind of slapping <laughs> yeah. slap bass yeah <laughs> whereas he does like a lot of tapping okay mm. yeah um, so I'd love to try and work some of that oh, stuff yeah. in oh, together. Right. yeah will yeah. there be like a a bass duel on this slate <laughs> as well no no, no 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 probably probably not mm. I, I couldn't see my music as being anything competitive <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well uh, I guess so, so your brother's I guess a bassist. Is there anyone else, I guess, in your family that 
like no like, does music stuff. <laughs> no, no we, we are very different from our family i would say right okay um like for example my mom she was heavily into sports and all wow. that like she used to play tennis oh cool um and from what i heard it she she was good at it mm. <laughs> as far as i've, I've been told um so yeah like a lot of my family's like sports fan are very um very different like mm. it's either you got the sport fans the gamers or like the, the others. The, the creatives. Yeah, the, the creatives, which is just the kind losers of my and brother and I from what I'm aware of. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I cut that. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, though my cousin, uh, he started learning guitar recently after oh. the, the lockdown. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's um, nice. And my auntie, she wants to, me to teach her some piano. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I can't really just say, like, my brother and I, like, you know, we're just standing up, but, like, they were willing to, like, mm. try and learn. Which it's is, just, they just haven't really had that exposure. Yeah, they stuff, really right? haven't had that exposure, because, it. like, it. it's not like my mum doesn't like music or anything like that. Mm. Like, she loves music, and she loves listening to it, which is probably, like, where I got, like, a lot of my influence yeah. as I was growing up. Mm. Right. Yeah. So it's very different. Yeah, what, what did she listen to? Oh, <laughs> uh, lots of Bon Jovi. Oh, <laughs> so I much did. Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. There, there was so much Bon Jovi, but it was like Matchbox Twenty oh, as well. Uh, like yeah. she loves Matchbox Twenty, like Rob Thomas in particular. Oh, yeah. Um, like she absolutely loved like his latest album, like Chip Two Smile. Don't know it. Oh, it's I, so see, good. We'll when, when did that release? Twenty nineteen, I think. Wow. Okay. Because I hadn't I heard be, of it. I could like, be wrong. For, like, it might, might have been like a little earlier. But. Didn't he do something in a very obscure movie? called like meet the, the robinsons oh uh, yeah it's that yeah. little wonders uh these small hours these are little wonders did you just say so that good. movie was obscure i think it is I d- it's i don't think it's obscure i, I don't think so like, <laughs> even, even popular. though like I, i've only watched it once when i was like a kid and that movie's probably in a movie that ages like like fine wine it's, oh it's it's so good though yeah, I, it's like it's kind of obscure I, I can't remember. I haven't seen anyone talk about it until this very until this very moment. <laughs> I don't say it's obscure. Brandon, I think time, tra- f- time travel. Have you seen Meet the Robinsons? What did you think? Um, it's about time travel. I this is, this is a bit of there's a component. I don't know if I've seen the entire thing, but I remember when it came out. Like it's the animated one. Right? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I've got no opinion on it. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I don't actually really remember what happened. So I just, yeah, I just yeah, remember, I just remember it being yeah. really good and like mm. just the song. Yeah, that's, I just remember there was a song, but I've never. Do you know? Oh yeah. No, no. What? <laughs> I just remember. That I always remembered it for that song. And yeah. You were saying Rob, Rob Thomas. Yeah, Rob Thomas. I didn't even. Bob, re- Bob Jerry. <laughs> I didn't even remember that was part of, part of the movie. <laughs> yeah. To me, it's like it kind of reminds me of like robots, like. The, oh, that I kind remember of, that movie. I almost, it's like that I kind of called movie it that, like, yeah. the animated yeah. film that kind of just goes under the rug. And I guess, like, Rango as well was mm. also just around. They're, they're probably taking that, they're taking that off um, Netflix. Is that the one with the little, like, lizardy thing yeah, that's. Oh, familiar. is it sure? Johnny Depp? Yeah, the sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I did watch that. All I'd seen was this near the ending, and I'm not going to spoil it, but I just I have cried. Seen it. I cried. Did you cry? The end of Rango, yeah? Yeah, I, c- I don't remember anything else about I, it. I didn't cry. <laughs> did, you, did you cry? I watched. I watched it. I don't know. I think that movie came out in two thousand eleven. I think. I don't know. I don't that's, know. That's um, year seven. That's 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 when I was eleven years old. I'm not going to remember that like a Clint Eastwood looking <laughs> oh, wait, character 11, shows up in that movie. You see, eleven years. Yeah, it, did. it came out in two thousand eleven. It did. Oh, okay. oh, 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 right. Wow. Right. I, I was thirteen in two thousand eleven because I'm twenty four now, mm. and um. Yeah, I feel old. And yeah. um, it's... I, I don't remember, like, anything that happened. Like, <laughs> yeah, wow. I, the only scene that I remember is just, like, if you drink water, then he drinks water, and he's just, like, drinking water. <laughs> like, like, it's just using as that excuse. But, yeah. Anyway, I guess... <laughs> do you, I guess if... What, what movie... Like, if you had a favourite movie, what would that be? Spaceballs. 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 So good. Wait, is that the one that's like a parody of... The Star Wars, yeah. <laughs> and he had Dark Helmet. It's like, the radar, it's been jammed. <laughs> and it's like actual jam being thrown at the radar. And the, it has the big, like, the nurse. Like, the maid. Yeah, exactly. 
Everyone's like, we're going to be combing the desert. And it's like them having a giant comb to the desert. I've never it, it's so dumb. Before. It is uh, such a dumb movie, but it's my favorite because it's like that's like my humor is like really stupid the I, things. Uh, yeah, I, I watched that a really long time ago, <laughs> but I I was never expecting you to say that. It's <laughs> like balls. yeah, you could have a few. It, it's one of those. Wait, ones. was it walls or balls? Balls. It's balls. So actually, it's balls. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's space right. balls. <laughs> <laughs> it's like look. Right. It's it's not my favorite movie in the sense that like. It's to be taken seriously, but it's one of those ones I can always go back to and just kind of like still laugh. And have a good time. Yeah, and have a good time with. Right. Mm. Whereas like, I try, like I love Star Wars. Yeah. Like a lot. But I tried watching the the entire like um, original trilogy. Yeah. Mm. Like they're such good films, but my God, it's a slug fest. Yeah. It's so hard to watch. (laughs) Star Wars fans are just Star Wars fans are like typing the comments of the... Big old greasy yeah, fingers. Yeah, you just, you just <laughs> then like... they're just like, oh, man, this is better than, like, the new movies. Well, yeah, exactly. The Disney trilogy. Can you, like, I can't even watch the new trilogy again, to be honest. <sighs> I only watched the first one. The like Mandalorian, though. It's oh. so good. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got two giant posters of Little Yiddle on my wall. Sorry, oh. Grogu. <laughs> oh. Wait, have you seen it? Uh, <laughs> sorry. Just, just but everyone just, like, watch it, and I'm like... Yeah, yeah, except I, I don't have Disney Plus. <laughs> I got it just to watch it? Mandalorian. <laughs> Do you still have it? Yeah. I, I'm not going to let you mooch off it. <laughs> there you go. I, I've been I've escaped that. You just never know. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's definitely Space Wars for them, my favourite movie, though. Yeah. Cool. What more, what, what more do you want to know? What more do you want to know? Yeah. I guess then... It's like we had we had this conversation in the car once, but like you you read a lot of or you've read a lot of sci-fi. Mm. I would say I've read a lot because I, I don't read heavily. Okay, right. but like, I like reading. <laughs> it's just I'm very lazy. <laughs> yeah, I, but like I, I have read a bit of sci-fi. Like I, I do love the Star Wars books. Mm. Um, I can. F- <laughs> I felt I felt Brendan cringe. <laughs> yes. No, I have a friend who who also really loves the sci- Star Wars books, and that's like what got him, I guess, into reading. Yeah, and like, I don't know, I feel like, I, I learned more, a lot about my books, well, more, more about books from my brother, because like, he's a heavy reader. Oh, okay. Like, he's a major academic and he loves reading, but he also loves sci-fi. Mm. Yeah. Like, he recently read Dune, and uh, he was telling me about it, and he's like, it's such a slug to read, mainly because like, mm. you have to, like, they have sentences where it's like, you have to read over it again to understand what Yeah, happened. they have like specific words <laughs> and yeah. planets, and it's like, wait, is this a planet or is this a person? What's going on? Yeah. Mm. Um, so it feels like I've read the books just from listening to him talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> so you employ so, his services and then read the No, I'm just going to watch the movie. Yeah, no. you're yeah. excited for no, the movie. I, I'm, not, I'm, not book over, I'm not movie over book or book over movie. Yeah, but it's, it's like, like whatever you get more enjoyment out of. Mm. Mm. Well, yeah. you have more time to do. Yeah, exactly. Like too, <laughs> too many people just kind of like focus on like what everyone else is doing. It's like mm. just... Live your life. Just live your life. Do just live your life. You. Why not? Yeah. It's, cool. Are we just yeah. calling out the people that are watching, going to be yeah. watching this podcast? Oh yeah, they are. They are furious. <laughs> they are fuming right now. <laughs> just, you know, just don't watch this podcast. Just, just, <laughs> just live your life. Just live your life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but also, if you're gonna live your life, also leave a like. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 like life now. <laughs> <laughs> well, so what else are you doing in your in your spare time when you're not? You know. uh, well, I was working, <laughs> but my contract's recently ended, so I'm kind Ooh. of just focusing more on music. I think that's my, my primary Beautiful. goal. What were you working as? Uh, I was a tutor, uh, an in-classroom tutor, so I would go into classrooms to help out mm. kids that had um, fallen behind. Und- underachieving. Underachieving because of um, <laughs> you know, all the yeah. lockdowns and being mm. in remote learning, yeah. which isn't like an ideal situation. Mm, so. Um, yeah, I was just tutoring for them for English and math. Mm. I'm not very good at math. <laughs> but um, I was I found like a lot of it was just me relearning how to do it. And then passing it along. Yeah, and passing it along. Mm. I mean, does, do you reckon that actually would be better like to just learn it? Because like, oh yeah, now I've learned it again. I can possibly find a way to teach this. Like, does it feel like well, the Well, yeah, I felt like I was teaching it very well it. after I was learning it. Because I'm like, how did I learn it? Okay, I can just teach them the way that I learned. Mm. Yeah, rather than just remembering yeah, like ages like, ago. This is how I did quadratics. Because how I don't want to like attack my classroom teachers or anything, so <laughs> cut that. But <laughs> no, it's 
it's not an attack, but like everyone teaches differently. There's different mm. teaching yeah. styles. Mm. And I found like a lot of, in terms of those subjects, like English and math, it's more just look at a board, see like the formula, teach, like then do your work with questions. Mm. Um, whereas, you know, that's, in a one-on-one, not, one, I can yeah. explain it to them in a way they understand. Like, for example, they're doing financial math. Mm. And um, I could just relate it back to like, okay, do you ever want to, want to buy a house? Do you want to buy a car or, or something like in mm. the future? Yeah. How does interest work? Yeah. And this is a very like, this, I wasn't expecting to get into <laughs> <laughs> No. Economics lesson. Let's Economics go. lesson. Let's do it. Well, my bad. <laughs> Smack the mic. Um, Sorry, viewers. <laughs> but no, it's not like, I'm glad my contract's over mainly because like, I've got my teaching degree now. Mm. Graduated mm. this year. Yes. Woo-hoo! What what are you going to be teaching? Music and drama. Mm. Yeah. Music and drama. Nice. So so the fun subjects. Ooh. Like, oh, you hear like students like you do like the production and everything. And be like, oh yeah, just do music and drama. Everything else is just a bludge. I'm like, yes. Yeah. But but also no. Because <laughs> <laughs> then you're gonna have those kids that come into your like the cohorts just gonna be like, yeah. I just didn't want to do this other class. Yeah. Please much. don't kick me out. I'll sing you a little ditty. I just want a 40 study school. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to pass. It's harder than it looks, okay? Yeah. It and is, though. Did like, you... Drama. Yeah. yeah. As much as, like, drama kids get flack. Oh, it is oh, so yeah. much more difficult than... The, the pressure as well. Like, yeah. Especially if you're... Oh, my gosh. It's competitive. It's brutal. It's very brutal. Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you do drama? No, I didn't do it in uh, high school. I you mean, didn't. I got so put off by the teacher. Really? Yeah. He was very. He was a very creepy teacher. And, Ooh. Um, <laughs> it, it like you say like you know if you love the subject like it shouldn't matter but this it was it was really that's, that's bullshit. He like, was shady though. Oh sorry, Have oh. you ever filter on this? Sorry, right, well, bullshit. I'll say it again. <laughs> swear <laughs> job. Um. Yeah, should get like a swear <laughs> job. Yeah. Say. And at the end like, of it, you have to. But yeah, it's like it's you can't. It's like you, you the, to who's teaching the subject really yeah. impacts. Yeah, that. exactly. Mm. Like it, it, it's like a it's a two edged sword essentially because like you can love the subject and not like and kind of like tolerate the teacher, but mm. like it is like no respect or anything for the teacher. Just kind of like falls yeah. apart. Whereas like if you like the teacher a lot and hate the subject, like it's still not going to work out because you hate the subject. Mm. Well, like, it makes maybe, it bearable sitting in the yeah, class. Maybe but, in the yeah. past you were like, this thing is absolutely terrible. But then this person's like, hey, yeah, hey like man, goes actually, on you after a while. Yeah, just need a bit of perspective sometimes. And I think like I I loved I loved my teachers. Like what? Well, <laughs> like I was, you get like you know, there's the shitty ones, but then the, oh no, I swore. <laughs> but then the good ones you know they really stay with you and they really make a difference in people's lives yeah exactly did you, did you ever have a teacher who oh my guitar difference? teacher yeah definitely he was the one. Oh, he was so good it's every music teacher yeah, it, it? it was the one I, i'm pretty sure i've shown you guys but he did um man oh. sings weathering oh, Heights. Yeah, he mm. yeah he did the weathering heights <laughs> cover uh, michael mills at toe items i'm gonna throw a little shout out there yeah um mm. that's good he was yeah such a big influence mainly because like well, back, back when I was in high, in high school, um, like, I just did not like my voice whatsoever. Mm. Like, hated it. That's wild. Like, I used to do, um, product, like, theatre and production back in primary school. Did Seussical. Favourite role that you did? Jojo and Seussical, yeah. Jojo and Seussical, yeah. that was your favourite? Yeah. I don't know what that is, but let's keep going. <laughs> yeah. Um, saying. and, like, you know, I had, like, the falsetto for it because, like, I was young. And, mm. Like, my voice kind of, like, all right, in the higher range. And then puberty hits you like a brick <laughs> and like your voice gets lower and you're just like, well, I don't know how to sing comfortably anymore. Mm. And like, I just really uh, just started disliking it. Yeah. Or you just start pro- like trying to sing when you're like, you've hit puberty already. Yeah. And then your voice is just the high pitch best. Yeah, as exactly. You guys have those recordings. Like <laughs> I sent you guys, oh, I didn't send you Luke, but I sent like... Kate and I was left out. Um, Brandon, I'm <laughs> sorry. I might you can have hear them, and it just it sounds yet. bad. But <laughs> it's just like like my first song that I recorded, and it was just <laughs> exactly like, like it, it, it was always... segmented as you did. Actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's a solid method, I reckon. It's... Segmenting it, hmm. except that it was just like 
it was segmented because I couldn't handle multiple, like a one take. Mm. Still can't. Um, <laughs> hopefully I can change that, but yeah. one take of the thing. <laughs> it was... <sighs> Yeah, I, I listened to like recordings and like performances I did mm. back in back in the day. Back in and, the day, uh, it was like, oh, like I still cringe. Mm. Like there, there was a video from a band I had in like year nine or year oh. ten. What, what what was it called? No, I can't. Oh like, come I mean, on, I, surely, surely. It was uh, the band was called Obscure Insanity. Ob- Obscure. Obscure Insanity. <laughs> oh, that's good. It was to no, suddenly okay. take it off like a metal name generator. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah okay. Right, okay yeah uh but it was there's like a video like floating around um out there and mm. i was like of oh, the talent show we did back in year nine or oh. ten and i still physically recoil at watching it it is so bad it's your it's your own little obscure <laughs> yeah that, that that drives me <laughs> obscurely insane <laughs> well how did you get back into like what's hating your voice how did you get through that though <laughs> like when did you Cause you you've got a great voice. Like, where do you, where do you pick? <laughs> how? Yeah, um, <laughs> the redemption arc. The redemption. Yeah, my, I had yeah. my redemption arc. Yeah, what's um, going on there? <laughs> I'd say I was back in year nine, and like I was just like joking around singing hmm. because like I don't even remember the context, but it was like lean on me. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. And there was a student. His name was Hayden, um, and he. He's like, hey man, you got a really good voice. And I was like, Whoa, what? And he, he's like, you, no, you should sing more. It would be really good. And um, I was like, oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> like, I was Aww. freaking out. But he like, he like kept encouraging me to do it. And um, then you know I did music and I had like I was playing bass and everything for VC and my guitar teacher started encouraging me to sing more as well. Mm. Um, and I had like really crap. I had really crappy performance. Like I was that like, kid back in high school who like could do like the Michael Jackson impressions. Ah. There's always that one kid. There's always that one kid. I was that kid, and I, I still cringe and uh, <laughs> I'm like when I look back at it. Uh, we we did so much Michael Jackson. It's just the, some of the greatest like vocal lines. It's so much fun. It though. is a lot of fun, but like yeah. all the hee hees. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. I can do that. Yeah. Okay. Can you moonwalk? No. Ah. Uh. I wish I could. <laughs> Are you much of a dancer? Yeah. No. Shit. Oh, God, no. Uh, the only dance moves I know is like the roll in the blinds. <laughs> this, this oh, a, so you got two left feet. That. Yeah. I'm, I'm very clumsy naturally and accident prone. So like mm. if I tried dancing, like I'm pretty sure I would hurt someone. Uh. Just step on their foot. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. It's a good thing we don't have any feet. I mean, oh, yeah, true. Is, is my, has my yeah, feet that. been like out of like... You guys will never know what I'm wearing. Like, or if I'm wearing any, any, yeah, any, it's any the socks. No socks podcast, but yeah. you, you guys well, are wearing the socks. The truth so is, sorry. Pat actually has a very deadly, deathly. He's so afraid of, <laughs> of people. Uh, but he's also got some really ginormous feet. Like, it's yeah. like size 16s. Yeah. Uh, like, and okay. very hairy he's, for some reason. He doesn't yeah. want to be on, what's it called? <laughs> Wiki feet. He's Which very is, scared. Yeah, I don't want to attract the foot fetish. <laughs> yeah. Please. Yeah, we're they not, are we're not, mythical. We're not here to talk about feet, though, are we? Oh, so, yeah, true. So, um, <laughs> mm. uh, but size 16, hairy chompers. Yeah, yeah very I hairy guess, chompers. I guess the thing as well, though, like, chompers. Like, of, like, say, say music that was, like, cringy or, like, um, I guess you, you hated, I suppose. I, like, I love the music. Do, I just is there don't like you... me, like, doing the music. But is there mm. any, like, genres or, like, kind of music, <clears throat> that you, like, an artist or something that just epitomizes, like, what you used to, I guess, dislike and then now you've just oh. grown to love? Mm. Oh, that I've like, grown to love. Yeah, you've grown to love, yeah. The but perspective you've got to stay positive shift. Your, but mm-hmm. Perspective shift, like... As a oh, child, you're growing up and you're just like, this is not I wouldn't great. say that I love this, but like, I used to absolutely, I was one of those music superior, like, supremacists. Yeah, everyone has this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone has that phase. Like, music supremacist was like, oh, I hate rap. I can't stand it. Oh. <laughs> but now I'm just like, you know, like, I, I've listened to a bit of like Eminem and everything. I, I, I sound very white when I say that. <laughs> but like, I might have to say that. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I, I mean, well, I am white, but. You're that's true. You just stated some, fact. Some I just stated the fact. Yeah. But like, yeah. I, I could listen to like rap and not be absolutely repulsed like I used to. Mm. Right, yeah. Like I didn't I never really hated a genre, but like I'd mm. be like, perhaps that real music. I, I feel like definitely 
the people who get the the worst rap <laughs> it would be i'd say like people hang a lot of shit on swear job on rap country metal probably we haven't put we haven't done the f-bomb yet so it's fine oh that's fine um that's fine. <laughs> it's yeah i mean i <laughs> it's, it's like because as a as i guess mainly my main instrument is guitar and it's like people hate, electronic music people hate ele- electronic music but like country um, like i didn't know that until oh yeah like Country's a couple of years so where i'm like good it's, i love country good. but like yeah. they're just not listening to the right country a chance right? to break out mm. like the american accent it's great D- okay no i think mm. that might be the wrong <laughs> country but but <laughs> <laughs> but like yeah con- country music yeah. like it's, it's the, 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 people just take the it's label the, it's the pop con it's country pop that people but like they, they don't people, what they don't realize right. is it's such like a, right. a very diverse like sub mm. yeah country. definitely yeah. like they always like nitpick like the very one like mm. uh the one that's like most prominent mm. and that's like you know you gotta like, ex- broaden your horizons you know by like listening to like yeah you know, listen to like the other genres of country because it's like there might be something that actually that you do yeah. like. You don't know what you like until you try like try listening to it. There's like and in every genre and everywhere there are just spectrums, and it, there's always going to be like like oh my god music, and then there's always going to be oh my god music. You know what I mean? Well, like was... the, oh my god! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, like... Well, like have you ever listened to Man I Feel Like a Woman? Or is it the, I feel like a woman. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Let's go, girls. Oh, that, that. That slap. It slaps so hard. Yeah. Who could ever. And Patrick's like, I don't agree with that. You don't. <laughs> no, I just, I, like, I don't know what you're talking about, but let's keep going. You don't know that song? No, I'm sorry. I don't. Brandon, do you know? You don't. Do you know you it? Didn't know. You know it too? Like, maybe I do it, know. It, it, I just, it it's just not song. ringing. I'm just, mm. I'm not, it's not ringing. But it's like. Have a little fun. Fun. <laughs> but it's like I'm not gonna pretend that right. I like oh, I've remembered oh. it, but yes. Okay. I don't know the whole lyrics. Forget I'm a lady. <laughs> Men shirts, short skirts. Oh, what? Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That bit sounds familiar, but <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you know it. You, I think you would know it if you listen to it. I think, but yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll keep it on. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, any more any more questions? I guess mm. Because I'm just thinking about, like, the genres I hate. And it's, like, I disliked... I disliked K-pop. I guess, mm. like... How, how do you feel about K-pop? Now, now <laughs> like, I had this had that music snobbery it ha- like, phase it has, of K-pop, but I now I don't mind. It has but, a very... Because I had to write a 3,000 word essay on K-pop for you. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's um, so cool. It was just, like, talking about, like, how it became popular and like like the boom of k-pop and why yeah it's right it's, it's pretty interesting and i have to like talk about like the industry in south korea mm. and i had to listen to a lot of it and like at first i was like yeah this, this shit's rad yeah Go on, uh but it's like this is this is rad this is great and mm. then like after like the 50th listen through i'm like just i just want it to be over <laughs> really it, it's like it, i overdid it with like how much i listened to because like I was doing it for like a research project, yeah, mm-hmm. as opposed to like listening to it because I wanted to listen to it. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it mm-hmm. just kind of like I just kind of got burnt out on it, and I couldn't see myself going out of my way to listen to it again. Mm-hmm. Like I can appreciate it and like what it mm-hmm. offers and like what it offers like the music industry. Yeah, yeah, um, same. Yeah, but I couldn't go out of my way to listen to it. No. Well, if you okay, so this is this is a good a, a question that that I want to ask and now I'm going to. <laughs> okay. You said you got burnt out on, on K-pop. How do you not get burnt out? In life. <laughs> like, Lit. You're, you're like a songwriting machine. You're like... <laughs> I know, gun. I'm just like, like here, here's us two just going, all right, yeah, we've got a song that took like... You said the longest song was was Annabelle's Diary, right? Yeah, that was six, was six months. months. And it's like... It's been six years. <laughs> <laughs> it's been six years. It's well, it's, it's oh, everyone yeah. has like a different process. Mm. Yeah. Um, like my, I hope that like I usually segment it, but I haven't done segmenting as much as I used to actually. Mm. Like okay. I wrote a song uh, on uh, these this new EP um, called "Just Say Yes." Mm. Yeah. Okay. And it's I wrote that from scratch, like. I just wrote, I already had the guitar and uh, vocal line because I had written it for acoustic and voice, but I changed it to electric and voice. 
Um, so in terms of like not getting burnt out, I think I have these moments like where I just don't write anything and it's like no inspiration, but I guess like in terms of like not getting burnt out, I'd say the way not to get burnt out is by just writing when like you enjoy writing Mm. as opposed to like writing for writing's sake. Yeah. Because if you write for writing's sake, then you are going to get burnt out because it's not for your enjoyment. Like, you might enjoy, like, the process of writing, mm. but if you're just doing it because, like, oh, crap, i got to release something now, Yeah. then it's just not going to be fun. That's, like, why I don't release stuff, like, like a year at a time, maybe. Or, like, mm. videos won't come out for, like, like months at a time. So you're just going at your own pace. Yeah, I'm going at my own pace because it's, it's, like, it's not my livelihood. <laughs> Wait, you have music videos? Not like, not like proper music videos, like live, like just like Oh, you just... Oh, okay, right, can, right. Can yeah, I, I just like record like in my bedroom. Can I just say, so, your secret is safe with me. <laughs> I I feel this so strongly in my bones. There's got to be, have you ever seen the Bee Gees, like their music videos? Where, you can tell oh, Yeah, oh yeah, I was so surprised. I'm sorry, we're getting off track here because I know it's been... You, I can see, I think you should do like a Bee Gees-esque one. For that song, <laughs> maybe I don't. I, I don't. Know. I could. Yeah, I, could I was it. not expecting the Bee Gees to look the way they look. Yeah, they are very much <laughs> looking yeah. people. Yeah, like and then you just hear. I can tell by the way I mm-hmm. use my voice. And you're just like, whoa, what? <laughs> did, did you ever? Did you ever listen to them? Because you also have like that. You can do like really high falsetto. Uh, I, I didn't like listen. Go out of my way to listen to them, but like, it just, I knew like. Ah 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 ah! Say that. Stay alive. Like, oh, I, yeah. like I, I know you like of some of their songs. Mm. Mm. Um, I just think that falsetto is fun to do and it's more comfortable. So yeah. that's probably why I use it a lot more. Hell yeah. Contrary oh. to, I think people say like falsetto like dries out your throat though, doesn't it? Uh, I have never had that experience. I think this normal chest just dries me out. Mm. I think. Oh okay. Because like I think mm. I use because I'm not properly trained <laughs> in mm. vocals. So yeah, so you never. I never. I don't. Lessons. I don't know like techniques or anything like that. You yeah, just go right. for it. I just go for it, and I'm probably gonna absolutely destroy my throat because of that. When you get to like thirty, oh, yeah. it's like destroy the throat. But <laughs> let's hope not. Let's hope not. No, I don't. You need I, to preserve that voice. I don't think. I, I don't mm. think it'll like be ruined or anything. I guess as long as I, you know, take care of it. Just I guess just, the question then would be what. Where do you see your music in like five, ten years? I have no when idea. When your voice is still intact. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, really. I just, like, I hope to be like playing at the, like live gigs and stuff. Mm-hmm. Maybe if not, it's like in my own music or like mm-hmm. a band or anything. Like, mm-hmm. I'm just happy to be playing music. Yeah. Right. Like, I've got my degree, so I've always, ha- always got something to like, fall back on. Yeah. Like, I do That's love true. teaching as well, so mm-hmm. it's. A very, it's a good, mm. good fallback. That mm. that's one thing as well. Like, like you said, that you love teaching. I do notice that um, you know, in a lot of your music, you have quite a nurturing and compassionate stance. Quite often, <laughs> like I don't <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, that's, how? I'm actually really glad you mentioned that. Yeah, because like, I I've made it a point of my like when I'm writing, mm. I. I don't think I don't want to be vindictive or anything in my mm. writing. Like I know, like a lot of maybe like punk artists or um, yeah, kind of like write from like a very angry standpoint. But I don't want to come across as that. Mm. I'm not a very angry person. Yeah, no. yeah, no. Um, I, I'm like, hang on a second, wait a second, and then I think about my music and I'm like, <laughs> no, this wasn't an attack. But, uh, <laughs> no, I even then I I try not to be like. Yeah, like I've had moments where it's like you know you're in a position like really like frustrated or annoyed yeah. and you tend to like your writing tends to reflect that but I usually just kind of chuck that out because I don't want that yeah. you don't want to be like you, you don't want that to be the end yeah music, exactly you know? I, which, is, which is fair I just want yeah. I want someone to listen to my music and I want them to connect with like the, the message or the story that's mm. trying to be conveyed mm. and you don't get that it, by just like you know really over, being overly like not really emotive but like letting those emotions sink into it to a point where it's like they just disengage or disassociate. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Or if they are feeling like that and they do engage with that, I mean, fine. But I feel like if they can like associate with my music, mm-hmm. if they're feeling like that and kind of feel a little better, then that's, like, you know, that's yeah. you want a health, like you want a, an uplifting and healthy. Yeah. I want a healthy message. Rather than like, 
you want them to like listen to the song and then just get yeah, like exactly. really depressed over it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I, even I like, get what you mean. Like, it, even with like a song such as like Finger Paint, yeah, that's a mm. very it's a very sad song. Yeah, but it's also definitely. very bittersweet. I find. Yeah. Mm. Like you know, obviously, like this, you know, the child has died, but mm. at the same time, it's like you know, he still learned a, a big lesson along the way, and he's still you know very reflective over it. There's there's yeah. something to gain from it. Like it doesn't feel like the the song's like an end point, right? Like it's not like the emotional end point where it's just yeah. It's, mm. it's not it's not saying like oh it's it's all over now because you know this part of my it's, life. You're is done. you're always yeah. you're always having hope. So it's nothing's really yeah exactly like it's yeah. like for the like the message like like you are still my son. It's like even though like that's mm. even though like his life is over, he's, he's like the memory's still preserved. Yeah. 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 Like, do you think that you get that nah, maybe need to to give this hope to others to um, pass this light on? How much of that, you know, because we, we haven't spoke about this yet, but your mom is a very big part of your life. Oh, uh, yeah. She's like, she mean, I, my family's all like, like a big part of my life. I'd yeah. say like my family, my friends. Yeah. Um, and I think, yeah, it's just like that need to give back. I think, like, mm. <laughs> like I wrote the strongest one I know about my mom, and she's, mm. like, she's such a strong person. And it's like you know, she, I like to think that she's passed some of that strength onto myself. Mm. And it's like, why would no one pass that on to other people? Yeah. It's like, why would no want them to you know feel better and feel good? Mm. It's like why wouldn't it's like, why what it's like why keep. Yeah, what's that thing that that one meme of like why build when you can why build when you can just oh why why destroy when you can build yeah pretty much like like why would I want to tear others down when like you know can, yeah you can spend building it yeah building people up yeah yeah it's such an awful way to think like if you know mm. if you're if you're out there just like existing to like be vindictive and existing to like mm. tear people down it's like it's it's not a life to live. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. <laughs> like, unless it's like your whole. Your whole. Uh, <laughs> Just... I mean, if that's your whole <laughs> shtick, I mean, fine. But like, yeah. I, it's, I don't know. It seems very, it seems very lonely in a way. Mm. Almost. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because like, you can have like. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? <laughs> this is a very like hard thing to. to it's like, just like we're, we're, we've yeah. gone way over time, but that's yeah. yeah I mean, we've but got to, be, a... we, to be fair, like yeah, can yeah, what well, cut out like a lot, right? It's all good. It's <laughs> no, we're just gonna have like an. Uh, this, we're gonna just go to like two hours, and we're just like have everything in it. Yeah. No, but um, okay, okay. I've got how many? Qu- I've got one, like one, two questions left. Yeah. Oh, okay. So your your new your new EP yeah. when's that coming out? November twenty seventh. November twenty seventh. What specific. are you excited about for like that EP? New music. It's Ooh. great. What's is that? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. like the biggest excitement. But if I wanted to be more specific, like I'm excited to sh- like because I did drumming back in like grade five, mm-hmm. and like I've actually done drumming like up for a lot of these tracks, and Very I was just nice. so excited because like I don't think a lot of the only song that I did drumming for was Succubus mm. on the last one. Like the yeah. D- 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 yeah. Great song. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I love, I, like, I love that song. It's like, like the, probably, it's, I'd say like, it's one of my favorite <laughs> it's, ones. Oh, I'd yeah. say. It's the voice crack at the stop there. Stop, like, stop yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Getting you carried away. All right. But yeah, yeah, I'd probably like, drumming would be one of the things I'm really excited about. Like just, and because like a lot of it I think will translate really well live mm. as well like the I'd energy. love to do like a live band thing as well if, would be super cool mm. just looking right. at you guys real quick because yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, just, just like a drum lot of it seems like because mm. behind the scenes you guys have had a bit of a listen to some yeah. of the stuff yeah and like I feel like <laughs> I can't spoil anything <laughs> um, there, there's no real nothing super out there to spoil but like it seems I, I think it's very more energetic and mm. stuff that, like, people could, like, really get with, I'd say. Yeah. Is that get like with, that's like, the way how, I put it. How do you manage to, like, keep, to come out with something like that, despite, of course, he's the big old, <laughs> despite the old 
the whole pandemic thing. That I, I record everything at home. <laughs> I guess so. It's nothing. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. I just got to stay inside more, which gave me um, more time. Gave me more time to work on it. Like you're an odd one was just from last lockdown. Mm. Um, it was like stuff that I worked on before lockdown, but also stuff that I worked on during. Yeah. It's, it's going to be like the the Bosnik, the lockdown era. The lockdown era. Like lockdown yeah. era is music. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You had another question, Pat? No, I mean that was that was the last question, really. Just I stole it. <laughs> when is it coming out? Because mm. November twenty seventh. Yeah, I'm right? so excited for it. Why that date? I needed to pick a date. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was but, like, but nothing in particular. I just I saw I saw the date. I'm like, no sentimental. This is the, the one. Day. Yeah, the that one. that's sentimental enough, isn't it? Yeah. It's like sentimentality, it just like. Exists. It, exi- it gives. Just create sentiment. Yeah, like you create. I created it. It, it, it. it exists where we wanted to exist. Yeah, just oh, uh, was it um, on the shoulder of giants, tenth anniversary? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, November twenty seventh, two thousand thirty one. Ten year anniversary. And then you'll be the shoulders for the. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I mean, I hope that like, I I hope that like you know I am that inspiration to other people mm. that like, that they have been to me. Like as, as I said, like my my friends in particular, like they're like my second family almost, yeah. mm. and like, well, you know, you guys are my friends as well. Yeah. And, you know, a big. Thing. <laughs> but it, it, there's a you know there's yeah, a difference. Just, just yeah. like well, yeah, well, there's this whole other circle that it's like a mystery. We'll have to ask about it next oh, time. Oh yeah, so I still strange. didn't get to ask about the face. The yeah. someone drew. Uh, someone had a tattoo. Of you. Oh, no, yes. that was obviously a joke. That, they that said was that, a joke. That oh. was a joke. They said that they had a, yeah, a the tattoo sh- of Luke on their cheeks. Um, <laughs> not that kind of face, I guess. So yeah, <laughs> maybe yeah. not. Right. Yeah, that, that, yeah. That, that was a joke. But like, but why yeah, not? They, they are, <laughs> you know, they're a big yeah. part of my life. And like, you know, if I can pass on like some inspiration to them as well and like help mm. them out as well as. You know, pass on the inspiration they give me to other people. And it's like, why wouldn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess yeah, Brandon's good... going to kill us now. Um, because <laughs> born... how, how long is this been rolling? Great. I, I think know, that's we've a really good got place. Five minutes left. Wow, we've got five minutes of left. SD cards. Okay, well. Cool, I'm, well. I'm feeling pretty good. Any... I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. No more questions? Would you Should like to. Question? I guess yes. our question is would you like to <laughs> come back on the show for yeah. when we, you release your, yes. your EP? Yeah, yeah I'm, we'll there's, a, there's a lot to talk about, I reckon. Mm. I'd love to talk about, like, the You're an Odd One songs, too. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm sorry we didn't get to that. There's yeah, so right. much to talk about, because we yeah. need to talk about the man. <laughs> yeah, the man. <laughs> the man behind the music. The man behind oh, the yeah. music. And we can do that. But, but yeah, I'd love to talk about, like, You're an Odd One songs, because there's, like, a lot there. Mm. Though, I think there was a question before. Yeah. Um, why isn't You're an Odd One on the... You're, yeah. a, you're an odd one. EP. Yeah, explain. So, I wrote "You're an Odd One" first, like the song. Okay. Uh, and it's an acoustic song, and it's very like old timey sounding. Um, and I'd probably I want to re-record it. Mm. Like I had like a really rough recording. Uh, but I just didn't think it f- fit in with any of the other songs. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, but I thought like I liked the the title. Because, like, every song on there is, like, very different, I found. Mm. Like, you have, like, the very, like, electric kind of kind of jazzy sound with Annabelle's Diary. Then you have very, like, rocky kind of... Yeah. Like a pop rock with Succubus. Yeah. Rock with Your Secret. Then... Then Finger Paints the, the Ballad. Then Synthetic Dreams, which is, like... Yeah. A little mix of kind of rock and acoustic folk. Yeah. Mm. Then folk with Little Sparrow. And then there's yeah. Finger Paint, which is the ballad. Yeah. yeah. Like, so I like how like unique it's, they were. Like they're all very like different and strange from each other. It's kind of like colors of the rainbow. Yeah, exactly. It's but like they, all they, the they, flavors. But I, I like. I think they blended together well mm. as well because like you had like, you know, it starts off like very jazzy and soft, mm. and then it gets harder, and then it kind of yeah, smellers down with um, synthetic dreams into, uh, little sparrow, and then just the bell at the end. Of it. Mm. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of versatility in there. You're a, you're a, you're a versatile, vers, versatile, <laughs> versatile. Help me. Man with the Help me, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I'm I'm hoping that this one is it might it might not necessarily be as versatile, but mm. there's like, oh, this is quite different. I think. Mm. Hmm, that's definitely nice. blow away. It's my first time using the Gahan. 
on the track. Ooh. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm and, excited for that one. And, oh, it's uh, already out, Blur. Wait, is it? Yeah, it's on my page. It's not, it's not on Spotify. It's not on Spotify yet. It's on my Facebook page and Bandcamp. Okay. Uh, time right. to time to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check it out off camera. And yeah, it, we'll just do it you, after this. So yeah. it, we'll, the banjo. When's it going to happen? Oh, Come on. The banjo. God, the banjo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to do a song with the banjo, but it's mm. it's so hard to record it because it's like, it's got such a twang to it. Mm, yeah. It's so twangy and like being able to like get the right setting for it, it's very fidgety. Oh. But I want to. So I've this tried is a it. good opportunity to do a little call out. If anyone knows a lot about recording banjos, do a little. <laughs> yeah, so I guess like we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Maybe like in the near future that you've got the um, maybe you record your an odd one with a banjo. Oh, that yeah, might be that's something we'll have to hey. we'll, we'll have to find we'll, out. We'll suss out results. Yeah, of in a lady later day. Yeah. Otherwise, howdy. Yeah, that I wraps mean. up this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that wraps, that's what, that wraps up uh, wraps up this podcast. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't think you need to close. I think there's like there's probably a spot there where you can conclude it. Yeah. Yeah, previously. There's something. Oh, it just anyway. sounds awkwardly talking about how to conclude. I guess we'll, yeah, we'll figure that out <laughs> next time. Anyway, uh, yes. <laughs> See ya. Yeah, no, <laughs> See ya. Oh, wait, really that one. Wait, don't Bye. forget. You have wait, to show is it this the one? Page. Whoops, so bad. That one. Wait. Yeah, just yeah. have the awkward shot of the fan. Get it? Because we're big fans.